Hello students in this video we are going to study the remaining part of the chapter number 5 of class 8 subject science and cert the chapter name is coal and petroleum in the previous video of this chapter we had seen that natural resources are broadly classified into two types that is inexhaustible natural resources and exhaustible natural resources in that we had seen that inexhaustible natural resources are present in the unlimited quantity where exhaustible natural resources are in limited quantity in nature then after we had seen what is fossil fuel and in that we had seen one natural resource that is coal we had seen how the coal is formed and different products which we are getting from the coal in that we had seen coke coal tar and coal gas now let we continue our chapter with the another natural resource that is petroleum so you know that petrol is used as a fuel in light automobiles like motorcycles scooters and cars in this automobiles the petroleum or we are using petrol as the fuel and the heavy motor vehicles like trucks and tractors they are using diesel or they run on the diesel so petrol and diesel are obtained from a natural resource called petroleum we are obtaining this petrol and diesel from the natural resource which is known as the petroleum this word petroleum is derived from the petra that means petra and oleum petra that means rock and oleum that means oil and it is mined from between the rocks under the earth has shown in the figure we are mining or getting this petroleum between the rocks under the earth here in the figure it is shown to you this is ground level below the ground level impervious rocks are there that means the rocks which will not permit or, or allow oil water or gas to flow through it so this kind of rocks are known as the impervious rock so below the ground level this kind of rocks are there then after this is also a, a layer of rock these two are the layers of rocks which is known as the reservoir rock that means the rocks which allow to oil water or gas to flow through them and this kind of rocks are porous in nature and between this two layer of this rock the water oil and gas are there and here you can see that the wells are there to get this oil and gas we are digging this or we are drilling this wells so this is how we can get the gas and oil below the earth so now let we see how this petroleum form so do you know how the petroleum is form so petroleum was form from the organisms living in the sea or the aquatic animals or the organisms as this organism died their bodies settle at the bottom of the sea and got cover with layers of sand and clay as this organism died their body settle down at the bottom of the sea and above this they cover with the layer of sands many different layers of sands and clay and after the millions year of years the in the absence of air under high pressure and high temperature this organism transport transform into petroleum and natural gas so this dead organisms transform into petroleum and natural gas so this is how the petroleum or natural gas form look at figure 5.4 it shows the deposit of petroleum and natural gas as we have seen in the figure and you can see that the layer containing petroleum oil and gas is above that of water so why is it so so recall that oil and natural gas or oil and gas are lighter in weight than the water and they do not mix with 
the water so that's why here we can see that the layer of oil and gas is above the level of water or layer of water now how this people find this petroleum in the well or how they drill first time when they drill the well that is given to you here the world's first oil well was drilled in pennsylvania in usa in 1859 and the year 8 years after that in 1867 the oil was struck or oil was found at makum in assam in our india and in india is oil is found in assam gujarat mumbai high and in the river basin of godavari and krishna so this is how or this is when this petroleum first time found that is in 1859 in the pennsylvania of usa the first time the oil well was drilled and then after after the 8 years 8 in 1867 the oil was found in makum in assam and now in india the oil is found in assam gujarat mumbai high and in the river basin of godavari and krishna now we are getting this petroleum so how the different elements are differentiate from this petroleum or how we are getting the petrol diesel or gas from this petroleum so here for that refining of petroleum is given to you that petroleum is a dark oily liquid when it is found and it has an unpleasant odor its smell is very bad you don't like this smell and it is the mixture of various constituents or you can say elements such as petroleum gas petrol diesel lubricating oil paraffin wax etc this petroleum contains these all elements or constituents that is petroleum gas petrol diesel lubricating oil and paraffin wax and the process of separating this all constituents the various constituents of fractions of petroleum is known as the refining and it is carried out in the petroleum refineries we are separating this all the fractions or elements from the petroleum in the petroleum refineries here the picture of petroleum refinery is shown to you figure 5.5 and various this constituents of petroleum and their uses are given to you in the table 5.1 and other than that many useful substances are obtained from petroleum and natural gas like these are termed as the petrochemicals these substances are known as the petrochemicals and these are used in the manufacture manufacture of detergents fibers like polyester nylon acrylic etc other than that polythene and other man made plastics we are making all these things from the petrochemicals which contain petroleum hydrogen gas even we are obtaining from the natural gas and is used in the production of fertilizers like urea and due to its great commercial importance and use the petroleum is also known as the black gold as it is very precious it is also known as the black gold so now let we see the uses and different component or constituents of the petroleum so here table 5.1 is given to you various constituents of petroleum and their uses the first one in that is petroleum gas in liquid form it is also known as the lpg that means liquefied petroleum gas it is in the liquid form the gas is compressed and it is converted into liquid form so it is used as the fuel for home and in industries we are in a, in the our home we are using this lpg gas for the cooking purpose or as the fuel next is petrol so we are using it for motor fuel that means for the fuel in the vehicles then after aviation fuel that means to power or to give the energy to the aircrafts and the solvent for dry cleaning solvent for the dry cleaning in the dry cleaning process also some clothes are not suitable for the water so as the solvent so in place of the water 
the petrol is also used as the solvent in the dry cleaning process next is kerosene so it is used as fuel for the stoves lamps and for jet aircrafts in the aircrafts also the kerosene is used as the fuel next one is diesel so diesel is used as the fuel for heavy motor vehicles as we had seen like trucks tractors etc and in the electric generators also to generate electricity diesel is used next is lubric lubricating oil so this lubricating oil is used for the lubrication purpose that means uh, oil or the substance which is used to reduce the friction in the machineries so to reduce the friction the oil is used and that oil is known as the lubricating oil and we are getting this from the petroleum next is paraffin wax so it is used in the ointments that means a one kind of smooth oily substance which is rubbed on the skin for the medicinal purpose or as a cosmetic so in the cosmetics also the petroleum is there then after candles vaselines etc in this all materials the paraffin wax is used and which is a one component of the petroleum next is bitumen and it is used in the paints and road surfacing while making the roads to surface the road this bitumen is used so these are the uses and the different components of the petroleum now let we see the another natural resource that is natural gas so natural gas is very important fossil fuel because it is easy to transport through these pipes we can transport this natural gas through the pipes so it is very important as the fuel and natural gas is stored under high pressure as compressed natural gas we are storing it on the high pressure so it is also known as the compressed natural gas that means cng and this cng is used for the power generation or to generate electricity and it is now being used as the fuel for the transport vehicles you might have seen the auto rickshaw which is run on the cng so nowadays it is also used for the transport vehicles because it is less polluting and it is cleaner fuel that is why it is known as the cleaner fuel because it spread the less pollution the great advantage of this cng is that it can be used directly for burning in the homes and factories where it can be supplied through pipes we can directly use it in our home and in the factories also as the fuel because it can be directly supplied through the pipes and such a network of pipeline are exist in the vadodara in gujarat and some parts of delhi and other places this kind of pipeline network is there in the vadodara gujarat and in delhi also and natural gas is also used as the starting material or initial material for the manufacture of number of chemicals and fertilizers to make or to produce the different kinds of chemicals and fertilizers this natural gas is used as the starting or initial material and india has vast reserves of natural gas india has the great reservoirs for this natural gas and in our country natural gas has been found in tripura rajasthan maharashtra and in the krishna godavari delta the delta that means flat land and sometimes this shape is approximately like a triangle and where the river divides into a several small branches before meeting to the sea so in the delta region of krishna and godavari river this natural gas is also found now bujaho has one question that can coal petroleum and natural gas be prepared in the laboratory from dead organisms as we had seen that this all the things that is coal petroleum and natural gases this natural sources are prepared by the dead organisms so bujaho has question that can we produce or prepare this all the sources in the laboratory from the dead organism so pahali is saying that no their formation is a very slow process as we had seen 
that in the process or making process of this the thousand of years are taken so this is very slow process and conditions for their formation cannot be created in the laboratory and we had seen that the on the high pressure and high temperature in the absence of air this natural sources are prepared so to create such kind of condition is not possible in the laboratory so we cannot make this natural resources in the laboratory from the dead organisms so this is all about the natural resources now let we see the importance of this natural resources so some natural resources are limited so they are very important and we have to conserve them you have studied in the beginning of this chapter that some natural resources are exhaustible that means they are in limited quantity like fossil fuels forest minerals etc these are the exhaustible natural resources and you also know that coal and petroleum are fossil fuels and it requires the dead organisms millions of years to get converted into these fuels it takes millions of years so on the other hand the known reserves that means the reserves from which we are nowadays getting these sources this will last only for a few hundred years it will last for only few hundred years and moreover this burning of these fuels is a major cause or the ma major reason for the air pollution so this is what we had seen that na na these natural resources are in limited quantity the reserves from which we are getting nowadays these sources are uh, will last only for the few hundred years and this will take million of years to again to make this fossil fuels so that's why they are in limited quantity we have to use it in the wise way or in the and we have to conserve them and one another reason is also there that burning of this fuel is the major reason for the air pollution and at the end this will lead to the global warming and it has the directly linked to the global warming and it is therefore necessary that we use this fuels only when absolutely necessary when it is absolutely necessary then and only then we have to use this resources and this will result in better environment and smaller risk of global warming and their availability for longer period of time if we will use this natural resources wisely then the environment will become better there will be smaller risk of global warming and the availability or this resources will be available for longer period of time and in india the petroleum conservation research association that is pcra advises people how to save petrol and diesel while driving the tips are in our country india the petroleum conservation research association one association is there which is also known as pcra this association advise the people that how to conserve or how to save petrol and diesel while driving so they give some tips so these tips are here the first one in that is drive at a constant and moderate speed as far as possible if it is possible then drive the vehicle on the constant and average speed the next one is switch off the engine at traffic lights or at the place where you have to wait while you are waiting at the traffic lights or at any other place you have to switch off your engine of your vehicle next is ensure correct tire pressure you have to maintain the pressure of your vehicle's tire and last one is ensure regular maintenance of the vehicle you have to give your vehicle for the regular maintenance so these are the some of the tips by which we can save the petrol or diesel while driving a vehicle so here our chapter gets over here the summary of this chapter is given to you let we quickly see we had seen that coal petroleum and natural gas are fossil fuels these are the examples of fossil fuels and fossil fuels are formed from the dead animals or dead remains of living organisms and millions of years ago it will take millions of years 
we had done after seen that fossil fuels are exhaustible resources that means they are in limited quantity then we had seen that coke coal tar and coal gas are the product of coal petroleum gas petrol diesel kerosene paraffin wax lubricating oil are obtained by the refining petroleum or from the refining of the petroleum and then we had seen that coal petroleum resources are limited so we should use them judiciously or wisely so these are the things we had seen in this chapter chapter number 5 coal and petroleum in the next video we will solve the textbook exercise for this chapter thank you